Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be reviewing Hector Mancha's DVD, My Silly Tricks. But first of all, a word from our sponsors. That'll be me then. Uh, if you're like me and you are constantly trying to up your game with a deck of cards, you want to be an expert, you don't just want to know a couple of tricks, you want to be really knowledgeable, then go and check out cardmagiccourse.com. It's my online resource. It is everything I know with a deck of cards. Uh, there's 180 plus videos on there and it's just had an overhaul. There's moves, theory, help with performance, and you can always email if there's something on there that you don't, uh, that you can't see, and I'll do what I can to create more content for you. So it's a really bespoke learning experience. Uh, so if you go through that from beginning to end, if you're a serious beginner or you're already established, you're going to know so much more than most people with a deck of cards. Uh, so cardmagiccourse.com and there are a few free previews on there. If you go on to Card Controls Volume 2, you'll get a free preview of the spread curl. Uh, and one more thing, very important, please like and subscribe down there. Hit the bell so you'll get notifications and don't forget to look in the comments bit at the end. There'll be all the links and the info you need on the product and of course the card course. Here's the review. So this is Spanish magician Hector Mancha's first DVD. Um, he won FISM in 2015, so a lot of you would have known that. He, he's done loads of conventions recently. I saw him in Blackpool doing his manipulation act, his FISM act, which is stunning. If you haven't seen it, go and have a look. Um, just give it a Google and there's a YouTube video of it. Um, you can see he comes from a place of kind of a, a theatre, uh, not, you know, not, not just not just sort of, you know, some manip actor just, hey, here's some stuff. It, it, there's more to it. And if you look at his DVD, it's a similar thing, really. Now, what it isn't is a DVD full of the manipulation stuff. It's not his FISM act on DVD or his, or his FISM manipulation act. Uh, as the title suggests, My Silly Tricks, it is not silly tricks in a kind of um, incidental way, but kind of more eccentric, comical routines. If you've ever seen anything by Gate and Bloom, it's that kind of thinking. Um, and, and you can just look at the, the list of tricks, you know, My Magic Ukulele, My Magic Nipple, uh, Small Water Torture Cell. It's all these, these more unusual takes on, on tricks you would have seen before. That isn't to say uh, they're not very clever and it isn't to say they're not skilled. Now, most of the stuff on this DVD is doable for most people um, and, and will require some sort of setup. But there are a couple of things that will require a lot of practice. There's like a, um, a triumph on there which completely knackers your deck, but it's, it's really amazing, but it's going to take a bit of work. And, and there's more sort of accessible stuff like the, you know, an elastic band through neck thing. So there is a quite a good mix and, you know, through, through, through a small number of tricks, I think there's about 10 tricks on it. So it's not like a triple set or anything. There is quite a lot of variety. So the DVD is a fairly stripped back affair. There's a lot of stuff uh, open air, which is nice to see. It's not just all studio based, but the explanations uh, studio based. Uh, it's shot around the fire station quite a lot, so I'm presuming Hector is a firefighter or has someone to do, or, or, you know, he says it's his second home at the end of the DVD, so I'm presuming, um, or just maybe just loves hanging out at fire stations, That's, which is absolutely fine. Uh, it, it has a, a kind of performy comical quality to the presentation of the tricks, which can, which, which is a really good thing, and sometimes we'll, you know, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but it, but the good thing is it's not just you know in a studio here's a camera here's my hands it it does feel like it opens it up and it's quite nice to see that sort of variety every now and then. Highlight for me is this my magic uke thing at the beginning which which uses a ukulele but it could it could use a number of things and and it's the, it's the idea of having this any card called for uh, and then appears in the hands which is really really nice. This triumph which is quite challenging and like I said we'll knack your cards but it's nice to see another take on that and another another way of doing the in the hands triumph um there's a watch deal in there as well which he doesn't teach but you look like that's quite an idea for a for a watch deal and my magic nipple uh which is just a great name for a trick in it kind of irrelevant what the trick is uh, but actually quite a nice thing you can see you could get quite a lot of mileage with the right sort of person and uh and and it, and it again it throws up this thing which I talked about in the the review of um, of Dyson Men, and people say no, you can't do that. You can't hug people on stage. Well, listen, you can with whoever, depending on who it is, and depending how good you are at reading the situation. And if Hector Mancha, FISM winner, can do my magic nipple and get someone to put their hand on his nipple, you know, you you can get away with it. You know, he's a kind of charming, cheeky chap. So 
if anybody is he is and not everybody's going to get away with it but but it's an interesting conversation anyway um this small water torture cell which which really intrigued me where it has a little kind of model of of houdini he says a little sort of mod, toy bloke uh puts it in a jug of water with with load of stuff tied around it like thread tied around it and a deck of cards and in the water houdini finds the one card still wrapped around the thread so i i described it very badly there but that, it's that kind of stuff. There's, there's kind of props involved in a lot of it and different ways of thinking. And like I said, it really reminded me of watching Gate and Bloom. Quite simple but clever ways of doing stuff. And it's easy when we know the methods to kind of disregard it, really. But it, it, it is, you know, it doesn't, wa it doesn't waste time on doing massive amounts of slides if they're not needed. Uh, and that's kind of what I've seen in a, in a lot of competition winners, really. It's to kind of think in the approach, but saying that, like I said, he won fifth and with stuff that's arse breakingly difficult. So, um, yeah, I just didn't. <laughs> it's not a very good way of putting it, is it? So, good things about this DVD are well, first of all, he's very likable. Hector Mancha is, and I found this with a lot of the Spanish magicians, and I'm not kind of generalizing here, but I, I did quite a lot of work out at the magic festivals in Spain, and, and I did f think that everybody was very likable. There was, there was not. And um, I didn't notice as much of the arrogance that I do see sometimes in the magic world in Spain. It's all very welcoming and lovely and, and modest. And you kind of get that feeling with Hector as well, which makes watching a DVD of him a lot easier. And then there, there's, of course, the originality. So, you know, when you see original stuff, again, like Gate and Bloom, it kind of, it makes you think about, it's, they're easier to adapt. So, so what I'm trying to say, so when you see this My Magic Uke thing, yeah, you might not do that with a ukulele, but you can imagine looking at how he does the any card called for thing and going, okay, I could adapt that with this prop and that prop. It's all, I don't think you're going to take that much of this stuff and do it as it is. Saying that, that the, I quite like the magic nipple thing for doing on stage with a bloke, uh, and I quite like the, the water torch. I can imagine taking these out, but, but, I, but I think that it's more something to get you thinking. Uh, so watching anything that's original, watching anything that's likable, and watching anything you know that, that has been put together with a bit of thought by a, by a fifth and winner and a fifth and winner and a multiple award-winning magician is always a good thing. So the challenges of this DVD, it, it's definitely not going to be for everyone. Like I said, it isn't you know your your Darwin Altis sitting there doing loads of card routines. And like I said, there is a little bit of cards in there, but you, but it is for those people that are looking for inspiration and ideas and a little bit of originality. Um, I said that Hector is very likeable, and he is, but I think that sometimes when when you see someone that is quite funny, you know, funny needs an audience. And I sometimes, you know, when, when I see him with, with one person doing the sort of gags and stuff, it, it doesn't really work, it can, it can come across a bit awkward. And this isn't, this is a, an issue with Magic DVDs uh, anyway, is that you get you get a performance to one or two people and you think that should be in front of a group of, of people. I've said this quite a lot and I'd like to have seen these tricks performed to a small audience where you get gen genuine reactions, you know, where that physical comedy and that timing and all that can be used. I'd, I'd love to, I'd, you know, I still haven't seen this in front of a live audience. So, so that was the big flaw for me is that it, yeah, I, I get it, right? I, I mean, I, you know, when I film my stuff for my course I, you know, sometimes I just can't take it out. I haven't got time to take it out for an audience, so so I have to do it studio based. So, so it's not a huge criticism, but something I'd like to have seen. Um, and also the the production values. There's a couple of times when when I it's it, the audio is really bad, and I think it's a little bugbear of mine. You know, don't get me wrong. The the explanations in the studio, it's all mic'd up and that. But I'd like to have seen. Um, or, or not add that kind of hissy non non mic'd up audio a couple of times, but you know it's it's, it's a niggle, uh, and like I said, it's not going to be for everybody this this kind of DVD because of the the nature of the material. So I think this is a really nice DVD. It's a very inspirational DVD in that way that I saw it uh, and watched a few of his, his things on YouTube, and you know he talks about character a lot and how important that is, and and that it's not really acting; it's an extension of yourself, but you've got to think about your physicality and all that. And I think that's so important in, in magic. And I don't think we really, uh, or many of us, really focus. I mean, I me included enough on that. Uh, and and like I said, it only left me wanting to see more of the, him in a in a live situation, which which you know I hope I do in the future. But there you go, uh, Hector Mancha, my silly tricks available from Vanishing Ink and all over the place, no doubt. It was uh, the 
the, the reason I did this, by the way, is because I thought it was it was half price. They were, they were doing it half price for a bit, so you might still be able to get that deal. I don't know, um, but obviously this is now on YouTube. So if you watch it on two, in two years' time, you can't. Sorry, but give it a go anyway. There you go, my silly tricks, Hector Mancha.